Hey everyone, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I would like to show you because many of you ask me like how I can export this model to GLB so you can use it in AR, VR, 3JS, XR and so on. It's pretty simple. It just, uh, you know, the model has some generator and some shape keys and a lot of stuff. So we need to be a little bit cleaned and then you can easily export it. Don't worry, I will show you everything. So yeah, let's begin. But first thing, like I would like to show you like this character is from characters tree. Always check characters.design if you want to learn more. You have like a lot of combinations and poses which you can export to GLB and use it on website or whatever. Right? So this is everything. We have uh, tutorials there and so on. Okay, let's jump to Blender and now let's see how, how to do that. First of all, I need to go to object mode. I will select here. I just hold button or on the mouse left button I select what I want to export first of all I see that it's like showing me some other things which I don't want to see so let's just hide the camera lights primary okay so this is the first thing then I see that I have the generator it can cause some problems so I'm going here to turn it off here layer 28 and I am here in data object properties or object data properties. Now it's pretty clean, right? So it should be easy. Just, uh, you know, export it. Let's take a look. This is uh, what I don't want to have. Let's see. Okay, now it's clean. Now I, I'm going to export the GL, GLTF or GLB. One important thing is like, I don't want to have the animation. So I will turn it off. Then, yeah, I want to have the shape keys because we have also our kit shape key so you can use them in AR, VR. It's useful. Here they are, like the Visamas and, you know, mouth, jaw open and so on. It can, they can be used while you are talking. It will mimic basically what you are talking in the 3D character. Okay, so let's go to export, GLB, now include. Adam, I will give like selected objects. Let's have the visible objects, like just in case I didn't select everything. Okay, now let's apply the modifiers. UVs, normals, if they are, I want to export them. Shape keys with normals, armature, use rest position. So there are two ways what you can do. You can export the rest post. I will show you because then you can use it in Mixam or other tool. So it's pretty useful to have it in T pose. It's like this T. You see, but uh, if you want to have some custom one, then I will, I will show you lighting, uh, compression. Yeah, if you want to use the compression, it's pretty useful. Uh, sometimes it's compressed really nice. The the file last time we had like 200 megabytes something without the compression. Then with the compression, it was around 12. So it's super useful. Okay, I don't want to have the animation. Let's export. Okay, now I got this recent call. The issue here, let me find it. Okay, it's basically like uh, the issue is with the material here. I will show you like what's the, the issue right now. If I want to see the color, this is how. One thing, but like it's not matching like the color of the legs to matching the color here. So I'm using the skin tree. I will use skin tree two. Here it is, sorry. Yes, so one thing which we will be helpful like to go and to, you know, turn off like not used materials here. Like, for example, like here, let's see. Oh no, this is used. Teeth, I have teeth, hair, but eyes. Okay. I don't see the teeth, but they are used here. Okay, so this is what I need to delete. Yeah, so basically if you want to check like if it has also like uh, everything correctly here. Turn off like that. Okay, here we go. It's working nicely. Yes. So this is how you can, you know, in case you don't want to have them. This is how you can delete them. It's, we, they are not used, so uh, feel free to do it. Okay. Okay, now I used, like I was checking it, so I need to get back to the poles. Uh, let me see, like we have the animation, now I need to toggle asset shelf, and here is the T-pose. So I will use the T-pose, because I see it change also here, the thing. So I will go back, Control Z, and I will select only the bones I want to, you know, affect. Okay, now it's nicely done. 
it's prepared. Now the issue will be with the probably with the hair. Let me see if uh, I have the shading because yeah, this thing like happened because of the blender is changing, you know, like the way how the nodes are working. And this happened because from the 3.6, I think, to 4, it changed how the mix modifier work. So I will just delete it. And now I will, I don't want to have this, so I will use only the color for some dark. So yeah, this is what I like. I can go back and let's try to export it, what we will get. Okay, so I, I have the same things here. Let's export. Okay, now it worked nicely. I have the model. It's, you see, it's five megabytes, which is pretty cool. Let's jump to the viewer on the internet, how it looks like. Okay, so now I have this model and I see like it's working nicely. It's uh, exported properly, but color of the skin is different. So let's take a look what happened here. Okay, so now again I have the shader, mix shader, so it's basically taking probably like this shader one. So I will turn it off, I will use this one. Okay, let's go back, change it to I have. Easily you can just change the color. I like this one, let's see if it works. I select, export, GLB, everything is nicely done now. I'm going here. Voila, it's working nicely. So basically, if you don't see the, the proper color, you always go to shading, you know, because here it can happen that uh, two things can happen. Something is used here and it's taking the color or as you see, like it's taking like the first from the mix shader. So yeah, GLB is using different engine, so it's not working the same way how the blender is working. That's why it's messing it up a little bit. So it's better, you know, like to have the colors and the materials which are... You can use the textures or you can use the materials which are basic. That was it. Let's take a look how you can export with the pose. Okay, I like, for example, this pose or this one. One thing what, I, what happened here is that I turn out like the 29th. I'm turning back. If I want to change, I can change it here. But for now, I don't want to, so it's faster. But uh, I lost this uh, bone, which basically is doing the rotation. So yeah, it's better to go back, change the pose, which I like. Uh, let's see, I like this one. Uh, let's turn it off. It will probably work also with the generator, but I like it that it's, uh, you know, it's simpler. It looks simpler. Okay, now I need to go to export, GLB, and here we saw armature that I won't, don't want to use the rest. Let's try it how it works. Okay, it's exported. Now it didn't work, so let's get back. Okay, now I need to select everything because, you know, if you don't select, it doesn't work. So let's go to GLB. Now transform the data. Let's see, like, armature. Like, I can just export the formation bone. It really depends on where you want to put it. And now you want to work with the character. Let's go to export it as is. Now I have the five megabytes. And voila, you can see that it's working nicely. So then you can play with, uh, you know, you can export it with different hair, clothes and so on and play with that and in the post. The cool thing is that you can also like uh, when something is like skinning or, you know, when you don't see or something is getting through the pants, you can use the masking here and to play with the masking and then like to export it. You know, here are the masking. If you want to use the masking to apply them, it should be automatic, but in case, for example, the astronaut, you can, you see, it will mask basically the body and then you can export it without this part of the body. Okay, one thing that can be useful is like to convert it to mesh, it will be easier for you to work. So here in the object, then convert to mesh, and this is what you can do before exporting. Okay, so that was it. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at Samuel at treaty.design or down below in the comment section or, you know, join us in our discord server we talk about this stuff there if you want to learn more about the characters go to characters.design if you want to learn more about 3d.design and our cool other libraries 3d packs because they are you know they work nicely together so why not to play and, and to have fun go to 3d.design have a great day stay creative and bye